started jump, so let's do it. Oh, uh, so it's casting like. if I'm curious. Temp lead down for regularly. That's the one you want, though. Yeah. Actors access, casting, front, frontier. I didn't know about them. All right, yeah. Revelation, chapter 1, verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave him to show his servants, things which must shortly take place. And he sent and signified it by his angel to his servant, John. who bore witness to the word of God and to the testimony of Jesus Christ, to all things he saw. John says, Blessed is he who reads and those who hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written in it, for the time is near. John, to the seven churches which are in Asia. Grace to you and peace from him who is and who was and who is to come and from the seven spirits who are before his throne and from Jesus Christ the faithful witness the firstborn from the dead, and the ruler over the kings of the earth. No. Woo! That's a heck of a greeting, isn't it? Now, that ain't nothing to be scared of. I guarantee Double Dog T you that. Let's hear that greeting again. This is the greeting from God. This is how God greets us in the book of Revelation. Grace to you. And peace from him who is, and who was, and who is to come, and from the seven spirits who are before God's throne. So God is saying, look, my greeting is grace, peace, and love, amen, from God, from Jesus, from the seven spirits that are at the throne. So it is clear that God does not want to hurt us. Oh, ain't gonna hurt us. It is clear that God loves us. It is clear that God wants to bless us with grace and peace. It is clear. He says, To him who loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood, and has made us kings and priests to his God and Father. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. So God loves us. He has washed us in his own blood. And he's made us kings and priests. Amen. Behold, Jesus is coming with clouds and every eye will see him even they who pierced him and all the tribes of the earth will mourn because of him even so amen 
I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, says the Lord, who is, who was, and who is to come, the Almighty. I, John, both your brother and companion in the tribulation and kingdom of patience of Jesus Christ, was on the island that is called Patmos for the word of God and for the testimony of Jesus Christ. He said, I was in the Spirit on the Lord's day, and I heard behind me a loud voice as of a trumpet saying, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last. Boy, imagine how that sounded. Jesus saying that like a trumpet, a trumpet. man. Woo! A trumpet uh, talking. <laughs> I just I fall over. Man, don't you know it? <laughs> I fall over and I probably have a heart attack. <laughs> he talked from up there. Oh, Woo! Woo! man. You know when you said that God didn't want to hurt us? I felt like a blanket just fall. It was like, uh, like a revelation. Like you already know that, but when you said that, it was like. Oh, you got a blanket on. Just like a blanket of His love just fell when you said that. Amen. Oh no, you got a blanket. You guys are you covered with the Lord. I don't thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I, John, both your brother and companion in the tribulation and kingdom and patience of Jesus Christ was on the island that is called Patmos. This island Patmos, uh, the historian Flavius Josephus says that John the Revelator, John the Beloved was on this island that they put criminals on. And it says that, he says it was the Lord's day, he says I was in the spirit. And when he said I was in the spirit on the Lord's day, at that very moment they boil, they were boiling him in oil. So he is actually in a great big pot on a fire being boiled in oil. And he says I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. And so this is when... He saw this revelation. As his body is being boiled, God took him out of his body to heaven. While they're boiling his body, he's walking around in heaven seeing everything in heaven. So, so John's going through a tough time. Jesus says, I am the Alpha, the Omega, the first and the last. What you see, write in a book and send it to the seven churches, which are in Asia and Ephesus and Smyrna and, and Pergamos and Thyatira and Sardius and Philadelphia and Laodicea. And then I turned to see the voice that spoke with me. And having turned, I saw seven golden lampstands and... In there the midst right of the seven lampstands, one like the Son of Man, yep. clothed with a garment down to the feet, and girded about the chest with a golden band. His head and his hair were white like wool, and white as snow, and his eyes were as flames of fire, and his feet were like fine brass, as if refined in a furnace. And his voice as the sound of many waters. 
and he had in his right hand seven stars. Look, that's what's going to happen. Amen. And out of his mouth went a two-edged sword, and his countenance was like the sun shining in its strength. And when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead. Oh, you best. But he laid his right hand on me, saying to me, Do not be afraid. I am the first and the last. I am he who lives and was dead. And behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And I have the keys of hell and of death. Write the things which you have seen and the things which are and the things which will take place after this. The mystery of the seven stars which you saw in my right hand and the seven golden lampstands. The seven stars are the angels of the seven churches. Yep. And the seven lampstands which you saw yep. are the seven churches. And so we know clearly that, that, that God has angels pastoring his churches. Because right here, this word angels is interpreted pastors. Angels and pastors are the same. There's a lot of pastors who are actually angels, who are actually pastoring churches. And uh, don't, don't, it's not that what you want. Yeah, God just, you know, God does that. He, 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 he's building his church. And if he has to build it with angels preaching the word, then so be it. But he's got angels working for him. He's got prophets working for him. He's got, he's got evangelists. I'm here. He's got servants. He's got everybody. God ain't limited at all. Amen. Oh, no. So, uh, so we received the word of the Lord, and Father, we received your word from your man of God, and we thank you that the end is near, and we receive the word that when your angels minister to us, Father, we receive their word straight from heaven, and we ask that you keep us protected. And uh, keep on filling us with grace, peace, and love. Amen. In the name of Jesus.